I think they're done piracying. They, they downloaded all the movies they wanted, Pat. It's fine. Fucking space Haitians. Well, let me see what this is. Uh, okay, we're gonna we're gonna back off then. Well, they got a they got a space station. Yeah, I know they do. So we're gonna eventually deal with that, but not now. Uh, and the only reason we're not doing it now is because I I don't think I can take on the space station at the moment. I would take considerable losses. The minute they leave, I'll do it. It's either that or I just make more corvettes and kill them, and that might be actually be the better option. Oh, who the hell is this? System server. Okay, they, they just went to the system by accident or whatever. By accident, quote unquote. Accident. Accidents happen, Mike. Oh, someone's level three now. Where's this guy at? Construction complete. Okay, you need to stop doing that. You need to research projects. Construction research projects. Colony established. Are you, are you having go. problems, Mike? Alright, so our colony is now established, and we started with an extra person too, which is really nice of uh, it to happen. So we're going to get hydroponics farm going for extra food, and we're going to make a, a, a monument as well, just to get our economy going uh, in this place. Where's this science vessel? Right here? Alright. So our, our, our space is now expanding a little bit, and because I'm have a because i militaristic, our space is much more aggressive. Also, this guy, fuck this guy. I'm going to declare rivalry. Because we get some influence points from that. Wait, fuck are you declaring guy. a rival on the Mir Mir yeah, Mirovandia? Yeah, the guy between us. Oh, yeah, fuck that guy. I'm going to, like, dude, I, I seriously want to rip his balls off. <laughs> the great safe space wants to rip his balls off. Mike, it's very appropriate. Trust the great me. Safe space. No, no, I, I believe you totally. We actually have like, we have like, I have tons of energy in everywhere, but not enough, uh... I'm gonna get some more research going, actually. Yeah, my researcher is 7917, dude. That's actually really nice. It really is. Dude, I have nine goddamn engineering research in my first system. So, one of the mechanics is how the food works, so you can see all the resources. So you see I'm at the cap, and I have three. Uh, food per turn, and so th this guy's being born right now, and he's got a rate of 1.13 food um, growth because the the calf for it goes over to it. Uh, so it's just how it, how it maths it. It's got complicated math, I guess, to it, and the habitability also adds a little bit of a penalty to it as well. But anyways, th this minerals planet is going to System be very much into complete. guess what minerals. <gasps> minerals. Yeah. I'm gonna have to do that because I just I simply don't have enough of it. Let's go finish uh, surveying all this crap. Oh wait, this guy's done. Uh, he can now do research projects. Oh, who's this? Who's this guy? Oh, there's a pirate fleet. All right, so now now we get our first taste of war. Oh fuck, he goes over there. So this is the problem with hyperlanes. I can't just directly go anywhere. I have to fucking go through like three different systems. Well, you can't just just swap in and out, Mike. No, it's not like warp. But it doesn't make it a bad technology. It just makes it different. Because <laughs> I am faster than a lot of other people. So, yeah, he's pretty much gonna get his ass kicked though. Hopefully we kill this guy before he kills my station. Yeah, here we go. First space battle of the game, guys. So he uses railgun technology too, the bastard. Like, we you need to do the space balls theme. So we researched why the skeletal remains. There was very faint residual meetings. Uh, readings. Meetings. So we're, just at, we're asking, what is, the, what is the purpose of the universe, basically? Meetings. Yes, Pat. Now I'm going to send my fleet to go repair itself. So now that, uh, now that, that there's some, we killed some ships, so there's some debris there that we can actually kickstart our own research with in case they have some things that we don't have. Right? Oh, dude, a new faction. Okay, so this is something Pat doesn't have to deal with, but I do, but it's pretty neat. So Hiveline doesn't get factions, I do. And basically there's a, a, a political factions, essentially, and they call themselves the Yoshi Supremacy Party. <laughs> Their members seek to uh, seek to uh, assert primacy of the Yoshian species by 
curtailing the rights of aliens if necessary. This dis uh, disgruntled faction will be a source of trouble, but those who approve of the government's actions could prove useful. So we actually look at what they want. So they want Yoshi Grand Marshal. They want our Yoshi. Uh, the, so they want um, they want our ruler to be species to be of their species and will be angered by any non Yoshi holding the position of Grand Marshal. Um, I mean that's already the case. Asserting dominance, declaring war against one or more Xeno empires will please the Yoshi Supremacy Party. So they want me. They want us to go to war, Pat. Fucking true Yoshiism has never been tried, Mike. <laughs> true Yoshiism has never been tried. They fucking want to go to war. I mean, we could we could already go pretty much. I think fuck up. Well, no, we can't go fuck that guy up yet. Yeah, because remember he's gonna have a space station. Yeah. I need some more technology and probably some more edicts. So we'll eventually do it. They're not causing a problem right now. They're just kind of there. They're be they're being assholes just by existing. I mean, they're they're not doing anything though. That's it, you know. So what I could do is if there were if there were a problem, I could do um I could embrace it. Uh, we can permanently change our governing e ethics and displease all other factions in the empire, or we could suppress the faction. So if they want if they want to be let's say peaceful or something, we can go like fine, we'll be peaceful race murder kind of thing. But they give influence when you appease them, which is really Research good. Complete. So. Uh, we have synchronized defenses now. Let's get uh, deflectors now, because we're going to do early war uh, type stuff. So we're going to get shields for our ships. Right now we don't have shields. Special project complete. Oh, cool. I just got three raiders. All right, so we finished our expedition. The remains of the vessels. Yeah, so we got the... Those were the remains of the vessels we got before. Um, I think we're pretty much ready to go kill them. We're gonna go to the station there. We're gonna kill it before this guy expands too much. I mean, I could just declare war on this guy and not do anything about it, and then just kind of like, just not care. So how many ships? I, I kind of want to declare war on him just so we can go destroy that planet. He's he's starting to be okay, on. Fine. Declare war. So let's see. I can invite attackers. The great safe space. Uh. And what else can I do? Filter. How do I go back? Done with that? Yeah, okay. So what do you want to do? You want to seed his planet? Yeah, fuck it. Let's try that. Okay, you can take the great... You can take his planet. Complete. And I will say... I, I will humiliate him. So we get we get a bonus to him. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's war him. We have declared war. <laughs> and now... Now I'm getting two fucking influence per turn because of this. Because <laughs> we're asserting dominance. Uh, let me let me just make some more <laughs> ships though. I'm gonna just pump out some ships. Yeah, I have a uh, roughly 300 fleet already, so I'm going. I'm just going straight in. Okay, I'll come with you then. I'm just gonna deal with the space station that's here. I'm also gonna put them on aggressive tactics. Research complete. Is he right there with you, or where is he? Hostile where are you going to? So I'm going, going to... straight to Rucklar because he's trying to build a. Uh, 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 a, a place there, and if I go there now, I can just bomb it down and destroy it, and the planet will never come to be. Alright, so we've got hydroponics farm. I guess we'll do Debris. either leader capacity or planetary capital. I like planetary capital. Oh, yeah, we get more minerals that way, actually. I'm just I'm finishing off my fucking problems with the. Uh, the pirates bad, sorry. No, that's quite alright. I'm I'm ca I'm well capable of handling this. <laughs> they invaded your space safe space path. They fucking triggered me. Nice path. All right, destroyed his planet. I'm happy. All right, we we fucked him up. Ah, uh, one second. Where's the science ship? Yeah, let me go and research projects and survey. I also, I kind of want to go to his main area just so I could destroy like mining shit just to piss him off. <laughs> I mean, we could just go to all the other ones and just permanently fuck him over. Uh, we got coil guns now, sweet. Oh, and now we can go up to spaceport level two, which would be really nice to get. So you got the planet? Yeah. Oh. oh, you destroyed it before it was even made. Yep. So what? What? So how? How do we negotiate this then? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, like we? There's nothing to negotiate anymore. There's no planet to to see. We'd have to take his home planet. Uh. 
Uh, we could just, we could just, so you just want to be a bitch then and just like constantly like fucking. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Hell, I'm destroying his mining stations right now. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. See, he can't, he can't fulfill the fucking seed planet. He can't give us the planet he doesn't own, Pat. Yeah, it Something's removed that option. Oh, did it? Yeah. I didn't even see that. I'm gonna continue using my construction ship to kind of make a couple more planets, uh, a couple more resource gathering things here. Uh, we have some nice early research boosts though, which is really good. Anomaly found. Uh, and we got another research that we can do. Uh, sorry, another anomaly that we can do. That's what I meant to say. Uh, so we're gonna be doing that right now. So I'm not gonna read out every single one, but eh, some of them I will. The Grand Railgun. I don't think both of our armies combined can take out a spaceport. Um, That's all he really has left, by the way. Yeah, no, he's got a spaceport. What can we possibly do, Pat? Just keep building up fleet, bruh. I'm just upgrading some food stations there on that planet because I did do the research for that. Uh, I mean, I could just, I, I'll just build some more Corvettes and we'll see what what I get to because I'm getting railgun tech level two. Well how, well, how strong is this space station right now? Uh, 1.2k. 1.2. Oh, he's attacking you up there, dude. Where? Oh, is he? Yeah, he's okay. coming at you in Paragodia. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually go back and repair actually, because I, I have a new level of uh, technology. Construction complete. Because I will just wipe the floor with him. Entering hyperlane. Yeah, we're. we're we're running away for various reasons, guys. Tactical reasons. Tactical, 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 retreat. tactical retreat. Just yeah, like a maybe. tactical let's play. Tactical let's plays. Ethical uh, let's plays. What's my ship maintenance? Okay, I don't really benefit at all from doing that, anything else in prosperity, so we'll probably do actually expansion now. I, I, I would like to finish expansion. So I'll, I'll probably get one more planet here, like this Darvessa one. And we're going to also upgrade all our ships first. Get some more Corvettes. How much does it get cost for us to upgrade? 75. Yeah, dude, the fucking Yoshi Supremacy uh, faction loves the fact I'm at war right now. Research complete. They're just fucking raining those influence points all over me. Alright, so we just got uh, shields, which is going to help a lot. Uh, so here's a question. We can do Sentinel Point Defense, which is really nice for missile technology against missile technology. Or solar powered network, actually. We're gonna do that because we are a little bit short on the energy right now, and that's actually a nice little boost that we can have for ourselves early on. Uh, so that's this is a starport module, uh, which is important to note. And we're letting uh, these guys research. Uh, why are you preparing for ship upgrades? Anomaly found. All right, and there's uh, another anomaly we can do. So where is this? Oh, it's gonna cost 168. I'm just, by the way, I have it currently set to automatically upgrade ships. So whenever I get new technologies, it just upgrades it to the newest of best things I have. Later, I will micromanage the stuff, but right now it doesn't really matter. I find, I don't really care all that much. So we're just gonna wait for the uh, money to all right, there you go. The Grand Rail gun has been up, uh, uh, is been, uh, healed. Upgraded. And now they have a hundred more uh, military power because of the fact that they have the latest in railgun technology right here. So they got coil guns and they also have small deflectors. One second, I got a new pop up here. Grimacing, very, the very geological structure of Fidan of some, some planet is indeed in flux driven by what Officer Zizax, uh, <laughs> I don't know what the hell his name is. Assures us is a tectonic process as fa fascinating as it is esocentric. Uh, or, e I don't know, fucking words, man. I'm not pronouncing Long shit. Long words. Yeah. What is more interest to Railgunia is that we may be able to strategically have the planet's ceaseless, chaotic self tra transformation. In short, a near plant instant stabilization of the planet into something slightly, if not entirely, more habitable is theoretically possible. He estimates that an additional 200 energy credits will be needed to fund uh, a power through a mapping a planetary activity and determined validity. So we can get a free planet and where is it at? It's this one right here. That's actually a nice planet. So the rail fuck uh, thing will have his 200 credits. 
So we can either make it more physics related or we can have a 50% chance to stabilize the planet into a favorable state. What's the size of the planet? We can't actually see it. It's a gas giant. Yeah, yep. okay, we'll, we'll we'll spend the 200 credit. We'll spend the 200. It's like that was like basically nothing. So, yeah, we'll we'll spend the money. Fucking gas giant. All right. Oh, it failed. Darn. Well, that was fast. Yeah. The window of opportunity closed for it. So it did it did give us power though at the very least we got something out of it but it would have been nice to have another habitable planet near us. Oh, ripping pieces. Uh what other places can I go to for some resources? I probably should take some more of these energy credits. Okay, fucking uh minutes. Mirov over there, that little ass blue asshole. Yeah. He has a 400 fleet now. Yeah, so do I. Okay, just you know, just making sure that we're aware of what he's doing. Where is he, though? Uh, he just attacked me over here in safe space. We had a little bit of a scuffle. Uh, he backed out, I backed out, and we're just you know, you know, doing whatever. Don't worry, the Grand Railgun will come and fucking protect you, Pat. Yeah. Do not worry. Uh, I wasn't worrying. I'm just making sure that we're all on board with the fact that he's doing this. <laughs> Pat, we're going to war with him. Okay, we want this. Basically, fuck the universe. The universe, the universe can suck my dick. Basically, yeah. Alright, good. As long as, as long as we're on the same page, then. Oh, do you know where he is? I'm kind of... I'm hyperlating around trying to find him. Uh, it, pro it's, it probably went back to his main sector. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, he uh, uses wormholes? Yeah, so you need to destroy those whenever you see him. Yeah, he made a wormhole thing there. Damn, son. So this is, this is a wormhole station. That's probably how he got to me. Yeah, he made a wormhole station, so we can just go here and kill it. So one big downside of wormhole generators is people can just do that. Just destroy them. Alright, wait. New faction is recently beginning grounding the internal pl political landscape of Ragania. And by scientists that call himself the Patriotic Vanguard. The members have been pushing us hard for us to assert our military dominance over the rest of the galaxy. One second. What do they want? So they want local rivalry. Uh, they, they, like, they like local rivalry. Constructing... Uh, they like frontier outposts. Conquering alien planets or making other uh, empires our subjects in a war will please the Patriotic Vanguard for a time. Aggressive diplomacy. Failing to allow for unrestricted warfare will, will displease the patriotic vanguard. They, so they said, positioning ourselves as a rival of at least two neighboring empires will please them. Okay. So if I make you my rival, Pat, they, it will please them. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm not going to do that, though. Uh, oh, wait. Allowing Railgunia to be exploited by alien interests by joining a federation will displease them, apparently. They don't want me to join a, a federation. Mm -hmm. I, that's okay. I'm going to do it anyways. I'm gonna just make a. I'm gonna make a couple more rivals. Maybe does that make them happier? Let's just continue the game. No, they're not. They're System not. Survey. They're not neighboring. Yeah, I think you have to be within border friction range for it to be counted as neighboring. Yeah, it does. All right, let's, let's let's go over here and let's see what we can complete. see over there. Yeah, diplomatic communications closed. Complete. We gotta join a federation, Pat. We gotta. We got to. We don't got to do nothing. Let's go check out these systems. Maybe Suya. Actually, actually no. Let's do research projects in that system. Fuck that. Uh, yeah. Me and his fleet are about to have a scuffle. Uh oh. Uh, I join you, but I lost most of my fleet to my last fight. We'll see how that goes. His his is surprisingly tough. I don't I don't know why they were so strong. Think I'm losing it? Maybe not. I'm wondering if I should run away. Uh, looks like you're both gonna lose it. No, you're winning. You're winning, definitely. Yeah. 
Research complete. No one fucks with the railgun yet. Situation Fleet. All right, we gotta go repair. We're gonna go fucking suckle up our uh, suckle up on a fucking what is this? Can of oil, just a can of yeah, oil. Yeah, yeah there, there you go. Yeah. All right, we need a level two spaceport. Let's let's start doing the spaceport upgrades actually. Uh, because we need those. Oh, we can do, we can get into destroyers now. That's nice. See, this minerals planet is very important for us to capitalize upon pretty early. Because we just got five more. I think it's actually more important than the food, to be honest. They can eat the fucking blood of our enemies. That's what that's what they do. Or actually, that's what Pat will do. I don't eat the blood. I eat the meat and the blood and sometimes the balls. And, and uh, like fights like that. That's what I mean. Like I had the. I think the thing that made the difference is weapon range and the the experience of my admiral. Because we basically had the exact same um, fleets, except I had. Uh, I he, he had one more ship. He didn't have an admiral. He did have an admiral. Okay. Well, I think my admiral was better. I don't know. I wasn't looking. Uh, let's have a look here. I think I'm gonna go survey that system after this. I want to think. I think I want to make some frontier outposts, and I think we're gonna start doing that. So that's one of the things we can do to to extend our reach in the galaxy. The stars above, Pat. To the stars above! Holy shit! Yes. Construction but, complete. It's making a Pokemon joke. To the stars above. I know what you're making a joke about, Mike. I'm debating where to go, though. I, I, actually, I don't think I should be doing that right now, because we're kind of at war. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go for some fusion reactors, which is some power sources for our ships, and that would be kind of nice to get our hands on. So why is this guy not as happy anymore? What guy? Asserting dominance. Yeah. System survey complete. And we're gonna we're gonna look at some of these other galaxies soon, and I, I, I would like to expand to this ocean world. This is a really nice world. Alright, we have some minerals over here. My people are incredibly happy. We can upgrade this. Oh, we can upgrade this guy. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, but, uh, but that means we're not getting... Actually, we can't, we can't upgrade this right now. Because it's very expensive to do so. It's, uh... It's upgrade is like uh, pretty. It's it, it would make a better version of that, but what we actually need to be doing is we need to be upgrading our spaceport and then getting a Corvette facility uh, because then we can kill him better. Huh. So let's do um, increased effect uh, uh, effect on extrusion cost by number of colonies reduced by thirty three percent. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Because we would want to make another colony probably right after we're done this fight with this guy. Pat, why'd you bring me into war? I didn't bring you into nothing. Whiskey, he got his ass fucked up, so... I mean, we're pretty good. We're just gonna make more Corvettes and probably just go kill him after this. Pat, are you make, remaking all your ships? Uh, I just lost a fair bit of them, but yeah, I'm trying to. Yeah, yeah you said that hours ago. You should have had. You should have remade them already. Oh, oh. Pat, this, this is not this is not how a collective federation works. You don't get to just eat things that I that I conquer, Pat. That's not how it works. Mike, I, I'm trying. All right. Can't just do that. It's not. It's not. Not. not I'm cool. trying. I'm trying. I'm trying my MLG best. All right. Not cool, man. Just not cool. All right. So the module is almost done here, and we say Corvette assembly yards is our first thing. Uh, I, I know I got the solar panel thing, but I, I don't really need it right complete. now. There's oh, no downside got, to building it, though. We got another First League artifact, which is, uh, once again, it, it's always about these ship battles. Uh, there we go. We'll just, uh, we'll get this guy to... We'll, do, we'll finally do the anomaly that was in our home system, just because we can now. Like, that's only 20% failure rather than the 30% it was before. Evading hostile fleet. Where is this at? What the hell is this? Oh, <laughs> there's like a 1k strength thing. I'm like, the fuck is that? Oh. It was just, it was a uh, alien menace. That's all. Just some random floating shit going through. Oh, that's river. all. 
Yeah, it's, it's okay. So what do some of these curators want? Well, we only know one curator collective. Can you aid us in research? Uh, what else do you have to offer? Huh? Can we recruit one of your scientists? We need to know them for a lot better. So I guess we need 1,000 energy before we can recruit their services, which we will get at some point, but not right now. I hope you're, you're remaking your fucking shit, though, right? Uh, I am. I'm just pumping out okay. Corvettes as fast as I can. Yeah, I'm just finishing my Corvette assembly yards. I think I can actually do the reassembled shelter. No, I can't. I'm just gonna I'm gonna just max out on that, and then we can go kill his ass. <laughs> Remove him from the game. Construction complete. Construction complete. All right, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. The game. Oh my god, that made it so much faster. It's unreal. Entirely too fast, Pat. Uh, what's this thing? We should investigate the sensor. So there's basically Railfuck uh, uh, got some uh, readings. There are pockets of radiation from a gas giant. I uh, was preparing. Railfuck Derebex was preparing to break orbit, but they was coming from the interior. Uh, I guess I guess we'll investigate the uh, the signal. Where's this? Where's this uh, at? Actually, where's situation like? Isolate signal. Oh, it's just in, inside here. One second. You go research that first. All right. This is inside our own gas giant. There's something in there. What could possibly be there? What the fuck is in the gas giant? Uh, something's in there. I don't know what's in there. That's right. spooky. Uh, we we can we can afford to do some border range or actually growth time would be actually better. So people people fuck better or something. I don't know what the fuck they do. What the fuck are you? What, what is wrong with you? <laughs> what is wrong with me, Pat? It's a good question, Pat. Special project complete. All right, science officer managed to isolate the weak signal that's coming from inside, and we filtered it out through our translation software on screen. Oh, here we go. It's a gas giant transmission. Well, well met, spacefarer. We are the Death Neck, the, and the planet you are orbiting is Troll Rong, our ancestral home. It's always riveting to be a solid. Even if our last encounter with your kind was somewhat problematic, you have no doubt detected that a radiation surge is coming from our atmosphere. Uh, the planet is dying; the species will perish unless we find a new home. We have identified a planet that would suit our uh, physiology, but we had no means to get there. Sadly, our non-corporal nature means we don't have much in the way of industry or technology. Can you help us? All right. I love this quest chain so much. <laughs> I guess what I guess I'll help him. Uh, so, how are we speaking? It says. Ah, but you are not the first fellow to pay, solid to pay us a visit. Another space very graciously donated a small subspace transmitter. Okay, so that's how he's talking to us. Um, so you want us to say, transport your entire species to another planet, and soon. There aren't too many of us. Most of us died when our planet was bombarded. <laughs> probably by me. But, eh, uh, probably. Through communication uh, with the surface is difficult here, and radiation is spread, uh, spreading. Okay, fine, we'll help him. All right. Even though we're a warlike nation, we'll do this. I mean, we'll this how, you can't war gas people, Mike. You 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 are correct on that. But damn it, I can try, Pat. Construction complete. Uh, wait, how, how does this work? Why can't I uh do, relocate him yet? You got to use the science ship. Yeah, it's in orbit. The game is paused. Oh, I need to fucking move him over here. I need to. I need to have it over there. Okay, we we gotta move the science vessel over there. I'm gonna just tell the science vessel to go straight there. I'm gonna tell it not to evade anything, which is uh, something you can do, because they'll do. They have a bunch of options here, and one of them is to basically ignore uh, problems. Okay, well we'll make a we'll make a fucking a power station right on that fucking radiation planet. Where, no, sorry, radiation gas giant. Radioactive gas giant. Yes, exactly. There you go. See, this is what this is what you're here for. I, I'm here to teach you basic English. 